Welcome to Melinden TV and welcome to Battle of the Boxes. This is just a little series that I have here on YouTube where I unbox three of my fitness subscription boxes, walk you through the products and what I think about them, and decide at the end, based on a few different criteria, which box I think was better for that month. If you want to see last month's episode, I'll be linking it right up here. You should be noticing two things that are a little bit different. This time around, number one, the setup is different. I usually film sitting on my bed, but I'm in the process of moving. Yes, still in the process of moving. So my bed is gone. So my laptop is sitting here propped up on a box and I'm literally sitting on a stool right now, straddling my laptop. This is my knee. These are my over the thigh boots. And yes, they are lime green snakeskin, besides the point. The second thing you should be noticing is that it's not the second to the last day of the month, like I promised this series would be posted. It's actually not even February anymore at all. We're going to talk about that later. I'm not happy about it. But for right now, let's get into the three boxes. The first subscription box is called Miss Muscle Box. It's $22.99 a month plus shipping. So for me, it's $29.99. And they promise you a $60 value. This is available in both a female version uh, called Miss Muscle Box and a male version that is simply called Muscle Box. I received mine on the 14th of this month, which I feel like is a little bit later than usual. But um, let's take a look inside with my kitty scissors. Okay, so this month is in collaboration with Coco. We saw her last month in last month's box, so this month's box is also in collaboration with this athlete named Coco, and just going by the cover of this month's little booklet that comes inside, this month's workout probably has something to do with dumbbells. So for those who aren't familiar with Muscle Box, not only do you get a box full of goods, there's usually some kind of apparel item, some kind of fitness equipment, and um, a few different kinds of like protein or fitness snacks. But then there also comes this booklet, and it'll usually have um, an exercise routine for the month. Uh, sometimes it'll have like a nutrition plan instead. Sometimes it'll have both. So it'll walk you through what the goal is for that month's workout. And then it'll actually like break down a workout for you that you can follow. I feel like this is such a good um, resource. I think women in general are kind of afraid to lift heavy um, or do certain movements, do certain exercises because they're afraid of getting too bulky. But then you look like a woman, you look at a woman like this who looks both beautiful and strong in shape, but not too masculine like women are afraid of looking. So it's really nice to kind of see those kinds of, of lift heavy workouts done in collaboration with the aesthetic that a lot of women are going for. So I really love this booklet. Plus you can get some really fantastic workout ideas in here. So let's take a look at what is in the box. First item is Eat Me Guilt Free. Is that the name of the company or is that part of the marketing? Because the item just says brownie. And I can't really tell what the name of the company is. Oh, the name of the company is Eat Me Guilt Free. So we have an Eat Me Guilt Free um, brownie. And apparently it's got 22 grams of protein. That sounds pretty delicious. And this will probably, with 22 grams of protein, this will probably be a post-workout kind of snack for me. The next item 
in the box is flapjacked soft baked cookie bar with 10 grams of protein in the flavor chocolate peanut butter. I've definitely heard of flapjacked before. I've definitely seen them at races and events, and I've definitely eaten their products. I don't know what it was exactly that I've eaten, but I have eaten it. So I'm definitely going to enjoy this. And then the next item is from the brand One. And this is, I guess, just a protein bar in the flavor iced gingerbread. Yum. And this one has 20 grams of protein. And it looks like the final protein snack in the box is also from the brand One. And this is a different protein bar. It's a little bit smaller than the last one. It's got 12 grams of protein and it's in the flavor chocolate peanut butter. And it looks like a piece of clothing. Okay, so we've got another item from Hyper, which we get a lot of apparel items from this brand um, in Miss Muscle Box. And the problem is when you look them up, you their website isn't very helpful. <laughs> um, so I don't know if maybe they're just like a made-to-order fitness brand that lets that other companies can go to them and kind of order the fitness apparel they want. I don't know, but you and me and the average Joe and Jane. Um, I guess cannot order their clothing but that's not important we've got this really cute like little oversized sweatshirt um, because of how I'm sitting and where I'm sitting the colors probably off but it's this really pretty deep burgundy with some stripes the inside is fleece it seems really warm and I'm definitely excited to wear this um, it's kind of like a like a crop tight like it's an oversized width wise but like lengthwise it'll probably just hit the top of my my pants which I do like that this is very cute I'll definitely wear that and um, that looks like the last item in the box. I'm a little puzzled because usually there's like, yeah, there's like protein bars and, and protein snacks um, and treats, but then there's usually like two items that aren't edible. And it's like two items that aren't edible and then like three snacks. And this time they did the four snacks and one item that wasn't edible. I don't know how I feel about getting, like, more snacks instead of um, a heftier a heftier item, a more sustainable, long-lasting item, like a piece of equipment or maybe a second article of clothing, an accessory, you know, things things like that. So now it's time to talk about the prices of the items in this box. Unfortunately, Miss Muscle Box is not a brand that um, lists every single item in the box with its retail value. However, it does usually give a card with two of the featured items along with their prices. So we have the Hyper Sweatshirt. It says it is um, part of the Hyper Essentials range. This oversized sweatshirt is perfect for those cold winter days. It's sure to keep you warm. I can't really tell from this description if this is meant to be like a workout sweatshirt or if this is more like a wear it to the gym over your gym clothes kind of sweatshirt. 
But because it's like fleece and not dry fit, I'm guessing that this is the kind of thing that you just wear like over your gym clothes before and after your workout, like on your way to the gym or during your warm up or whatever. And it says that the value of this sweatshirt is $34.99, which seems pretty standard for what sweatshirts cost. It's definitely above the amount of money that I personally would pay for a sweatshirt, but I know that in general, when people are buying sweatshirts, that's about what they pay. Uh, the next item that was featured on the card was this puppy right here, the heftiest one bar, and it says, enjoy this scrumptious iced gingerbread treat without the guilt. 20 grams of protein ensures a solid pick-me-up. And it's saying the retail price of this item is $3.50. I feel like $3.50 is a lot of money for one protein bar. Me personally, I wouldn't spend $3.50 on one protein bar. I doesn't, it doesn't matter if there's 20 grams of protein in it or not. I, I know I can definitely find a protein bar with that much protein or like an actual piece of food with that much protein that costs less than $3.50. But it is what it is. Um, what I'm going to do now is quickly look up the rest of the items in the box online and get prices so that I can add up a total for the box. So I did some research on the rest of the products in the Miss Muscle box that weren't listed, and I'm a little confused. First of all, okay, so I went to one's website, the brand that makes these. Now remember, Miss Muscle box sent a little card in the box saying that this bar was worth 350. However, when you actually go on the website and look this up, it first of all, it's only available in boxes of 12 and the boxes of 12 are 24.99, which comes to a little bit over $2 a bar. And I get when you're buying something in bulk, it's going to be a better deal so um, than, than when you're buying it, you know, just a single. Just like if, you're buy, if you go to Costco and buy like a giant box of Hershey bars, it's going to be a better deal per chocolate bar than like those impulse buys by the checkout at the grocery store. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I get that it's more expensive if they're just giving you the price for one. But realistically, you can't buy one. You can only buy a box of 12, so why not give you the price for what one costs for in the box of 12 unless they're embellishing the price of this one item to make the value of the box seem higher. I'm not trying to come up with conspiracy theories. Listen, we went to the moon in 1969 and this cost $3.50. But then, hear me out, this other bar, so first of all, 12 pack of these cost $24.99. A 12 pack of these, notice it's smaller in size, which you can't really see, but this one's much thicker. It's smaller in size, and it has less protein. This is 45 grams. This is 60 grams um, of net weight. Uh, this has 12 grams of protein. This has 20. A box of these is $24.99. A box of these is $27.99. I don't... Why does this cost more? I'm 
I'm just trying to understand why the smaller item with, with the less protein costs more than... But also, I didn't want to go by the number that they gave for the box of 12 because of, of the 350 that they told me. They're just throwing me off. They're throwing me off with that pricing that boop, boop, boop. They're just throwing me off with that pricing that was on the enclosed card not really lining up with the pricing on their website. So instead of going by the pricing on their website for the box of 12 to calculate the price of one of these, I just made a proportion um, in comparison to the other product and the price that was on the website versus the price that we were given and came to the conclusion that this is $3.92 if you're just buying one of them. And honestly, I would never pay $4 for this. It looks delicious. I'm sure it's great. I would never pay $4 for this. $4 is a chalupa at Taco Bell. You know what I'm saying? Then I went to the Flapjacked website and looked up this cookie bar, um, which these are also only available in boxes of 12. And for this, I just freaking went by the price on the website. I'm not trying to like, it's, it's late. I'm sitting on the floor. This costs 208 per cookie bar if you buy the box of 12, okay? Then finally, I went to the Eat Me Guilt Free website, and before I tell you about this, I just need to read to you real quick some of the flavors of these brownies that they have available on their website. Okay, listen, the one that they sent me is chocolate, and that's all well and good because your girl loves chocolate. Oh, yeah. A brownie in the flavor chocolate, totally standard. But listen to the flavors here. Vanilla Blondie, Birthday Cake, Tuxedo Brownie, Chocolate Peanut Butter Bliss, Holiday Cheer, Pina Colada flavored brownie cinnamon toast breakfast cake pumpkin spice brownie red velvet cake brownie what i've never heard of this company before but if i can eat those flavors guilt-free yes ma'am to that but wait until you hear the price box of 12 36 dollars which means that one of these is three bucks and like same concept if i'm just like reaching for an individually packaged protein snack i'm legit never going to pay more than two dollars for it. I'm just not going to. And the reason why is because I know that I can find something of similar nutritional value, also available in fun, sweet, sugary flavors for two dollars or less. So realistically, out of these four snacks that I received in this month's box, all of the prices that they go by, which is, by the way, bringing up the value of the box, are prices that I would never pay if I was buying this on my own. Which brings you to the reason why I'm a little pissed off this month. I added up the value of those four snacks and the sweatshirt, and it came to $47.49. Do you remember how much the value of the box is supposed to be? $60. And guess what? If you look back at last month's video, 
the Miss Muscle Box was not worth $60 then either. So I'm not trying to come up with conspiracy theories for what price they're telling me for a protein bar, but I am trying to say that this is the second month in a row that at least I've been tracking that you guys didn't hold up your end of the bargain. And even if the random, randomly arbitrary retail values of these items had miraculously added up to $60 or more, I don't think that accurately reflects what I personally would have paid for items in this box or something similar. We have four protein snacks, which I wouldn't pay more than $2 for a piece. So this, they're saying, is worth like... What are they saying it's worth? Four, six, nine, about like 12 or $13 they're saying these are worth. I wouldn't have paid more than eight. We have this sweatshirt and it looks lovely. It's cute. It looks comfortable. The inside is super soft, but at the end of the day, it's a sweatshirt. And unless it's like coming from a concert or something, or like it has a brand name stamped on it, I'm probably not going to pay more than $14 for just a plain burgundy sweatshirt. So in my mind, this box is really only worth what I personally would have paid for these items or something similar to these items. And what I would have paid for something similar to these items is 15 plus 8 which is $23, which is way below the calculated value of the box, which is like, which is $47.49, which is also less than the promised value of the box, which is $60. Like, I'm heated. What do you guys think? Would you be heated too? Like, I don't, I don't know. I love everything in this box. Don't get me wrong, everything in here looks delicious, but it's not what was promised. I can like everything up and down, but at the end of the day, like, am I getting what I'm paying for? And this month, I don't think I did. I was about to say, let me cool down, but I looked at what box we're opening next, and it's not going to have me getting any more cooled down. The reason why is the box that we're opening next is the Barbella box. And here's why I'm mad at you, Barbella box. Because it's March. And I'm getting my February Barbella box. Like, I got my Barbella box and it arrived on February 29th. If it wasn't 2020, y'all wouldn't have even delivered the box in the correct month. I don't know why my Barbella box came later. Like, Literally a week and a half later than it usually comes, but I didn't receive any email saying, oh, hey, guys, there's this one item that, like, we ran into a snag with manufacturing, expect your boxes to come a little late. Nothing. Nothing. A few days ago, they sent me um, a tracking link for my box, and the link didn't even work. And so that's why my video is late this month, guys, because Barbella Box couldn't deliver their box to me on time and they didn't say anything about why so hopefully what's inside is going to make up for it and hopefully I'm not going to continue being heated for the next however long I'm uh, unboxing okay because I'm holding scissors and being heated and holding scissors is never a good combination but let me tell you real quick about Barbella box okay Barbella box costs $49.99 a month plus free shipping. So we're kind of going up a tier from Miss Muscle Box. We're already going into this expecting more items, more value than Miss Muscle Box, which is $30 a month. However, um, the more months you commit to of this Barbella box, the cheaper it is. So if you get a quarterly membership, it's $47. It comes to $47 a month. And if you get an annual membership, which is what I have, it comes to $45 a month. And they don't promise a dollar amount, but they do promise four to six items. So let's take a look and see if maybe one of the boxes is gonna keep their promises. The first item 
<sighs> well, my mood just got better. The first item this month is actually something that I'm looking forward to. So Facebook knows that I like fitness, Facebook knows that I like clothes, and Facebook knows I have a spending problem. What Facebook doesn't know is that I already have a Barbella Box membership. So Facebook shows me like the sneak peek advertisement every month, advertising for Barbella Box, like, oh, if you sign up now, this is the item that you can get because it's in this month's box. So it does kind of give me a spoiler for that month's box. But it did have me really looking forward to this item. And that is a pair of joggers. You guys saw how excited I got last month when I received a pair of joggers. And honestly, I cannot get enough. And here's why. It's dumb cold outside right now. It's cold. It was 31 degrees, 28 degrees, negative 37,000 degrees. I don't know how cold it is outside. All I know is that it's cold. And this is a really helpful thing to just throw over my gym, my gym clothes going to and from the gym every morning. Just like, just hoist it on up over my, my gym clothes, which means I can wear shorts to the gym even during the winter time. And it's great. Um, so we just have like, a black pair of joggers here, which for some reason strangely smells like cinnamon. I don't know. It's got like a little reflexive Barbella box logo kind of. I guess this will sit on the calf. We've got the little um, elastic bottom. We've got our nice waistband top. And yes, ma'am, we have zippered pockets. And these babies are deep, like... I'm so excited. Honestly, I can't have enough joggers. I can't have enough gym clothes. I can't have enough outer layers for my gym clothes. I have been waiting for this item all month long. And now that it's finally here, I'm not disappointed. I'm super excited about this. And that's the that on that. The next item in the Barbella box. What the heck? This is giant. This is the Swell The Wood Collection Insulated Stainless Steel Water Bottle. Okay. Apparently, it will keep your drink hot for 12 hours or cold for 24 hours. Is that so? Oh, my God. Okay, so the, the packaging said the wood collection. So I'm, like, expecting a water bottle that looks like wood, which I, I know, like, they exist. My coworker has one, and he loves it because I like wood printed things. Like, that's his thing. But this is teal. Like, oh my god, this is beautiful. Water bottles are one of those things that I will legit never buy. I have 10 million of them. I get water bottles in my subscription boxes. I get them in race swag bags and at race expos. And I honestly don't get super excited when I receive a water because I'm water bottle because I'm like oh I have like 10 million of these but let me tell you something I use every single water bottle that I have I do use all of them um I don't know if I can really believe these claims about how long it says it's going to keep my drink hot or keep my drink cold I don't know. Maybe I'll do a video on that in the future and see if like these water bottles that that claim to keep your drink hot or cold actually do that and if you can actually count on it. But um for now, this is just, you know, 
another water bottle for me. It's ginormous and really pretty. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a water bottle. The next item in this box is... The heck am I looking at? This is from the brand S S Scoopy. And it looks like a scooper. So I'm guessing this is like a product for for protein powder, right? And you can you can scoop it out and there's little graduations here. So you can scoop your protein powder straight from the canister, measure it right in here. Put your cap on it. Now you can like toss this in your gym bag, take it with you, and then you can un unclog this stopper and pour it right in. This is a kind of cool and innovative little product because it condenses a whole bunch of steps into one. You can scoop it, measure it, store it, and pour it all with one item. Um, I do use protein powder. The protein powder that I use usually does have its own scoop, um, but I guess this will be a cool item to have on standby if I ever need to travel with protein powder for like an overnight trip or something. This could be a pretty useful thing for me to use. Okay, we have a lot of small stuff in here, and that's kind of what's left. What's this? This looks interesting. This is from Sandbar. I have no idea what it is. It's literally a sandbar. It's like a sander. Like a, like a nail file in cylindrical form with a cap, a magnetic cap. Okay. And it's on a keychain. Okay, so I I kind of I kind of get what it is, but like what is it for? I guess I'll have to read the description later. So, stand by for what the heck this does. And then this is something that we've got two of. So this is from the brand Ecoa, and this is a natural dried fruit bar. We've got two of them, and the flavors are pure mango and pure banana. So this is kind of a cool product because I'm looking at the ingredients list, and this one literally has two ingredients. Dates, dried mango. This one literally has one ingredient, dried banana. That's the kind of stuff I like to see. So that's cool, but knowing that this is just fruit, I know for a fact that these aren't protein bars because these fruits don't contain a lot of protein. In fact, when I look at the nutrition facts, each of these only has one gram of protein. So this isn't a protein bar. This isn't really a recovery snack, uh, like a recovery snack. It's just a snack bar, which I like snack bars. When I receive them in my subscription boxes, I throw them in my work bag to have at my desk. And honestly, they're gone in a day. But is it something that I think belongs in a fitness box? No, it belongs in a snack box because while food and fitness are definitely closely related. This specifically has no direct bearing on working out, which I think being a part of this box, it should. I don't want to receive regular snacks in this box. I want to receive protein snacks in this box. I want recovery snacks in this box, not just a snack bar that happens to be healthier than other options. We've got two 
little powder packets here, and these are from Celsius. So what have we got here? We've just got two dietary supplements. My cats are making a whole bunch of noise. For what reason? I do not know. The flavors are orange and cranberry. I'm trying to figure out what these are for. So, side note, I'm already familiar with the brand Celsius. Celsius is my favorite pre-workout. I wake up every morning at 4.45 and I drink a Celsius. That's my routine. Celsius is my, absolutely my favorite brand. I love their products. I love their pre-workout. I don't know what this is. I mean, at first I was thinking, oh, maybe it's the pre-workout in a powdered form and you just add water, but I don't, I feel like they would have said pre-workout on it instead of dietary supplement, if that was the case. Yeah, I don't think it has anything to do with working out. I think it's just a dietary supplement. To me, like, this is a sample, and samples are cool as, like, an add-on bonus in a subscription box, but to me, samples don't count as a full item. Like, if you wanted to send me a can of Celsius, or, like, a pack of these, whatever size box they come in, like a 12-pack, that counts as an item, but tossing two samples in, that doesn't count as an item to me. And I went on a little bit more comprehensive rant in my last unboxing, so I'm just going to move ahead in this one. So we've got another powder packet, and this one is from Bubs Naturals, and this is collagen protein. I feel like it's just a protein powder. I've heard about people um, drinking collagen before. I never felt like I needed to. What does it say? See, I just think that these brands in general need to work on their packaging and their marketing because I don't want to have to search the label for the purpose of your product. Tell me what it's for right on the label. Or else if I'm seeing this in the store, I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to search for why I should use your product. You should be marketing to me. Like, this is for recovery. This is a protein powder. This is a pre-workout. You know, tell, tell, me what, tell me what we're doing here. Where are we? What are we doing? Collagen protein does not count toward the FDA recommended percent daily value for protein because it lacks one essential amino acid, tryptophan. So if there's no protein in this, why do I need it? That's my question. That's not like against Barbella Box. They send us a whole bunch of stuff that are fitness related. And, you know, like, hey, here's something that you might not have thought to try out. Why don't you try it out without commitment? So, like, it's cool that they throw in this variety of things. Like, I would have never picked this up on my own. I'm just wondering, in general, like, this is more aimed toward Bub's Naturals. Like, why don't you tell me somewhere on your packaging why I want your products? And finally... <laughs> After lots of anger and rage, we have the Built Bar in the flavor chocolate. And this is actually a protein powder, a protein bar. Hey, thanks for something that I will actually get use out of in my routine. The chocolate smell is so strong that I can actually smell it through the packaging. We've got 18 grams of protein in this. It's pretty hefty. It looks and smells delicious. Oh, okay, I'm confused. It says chocolate, like here, but then over here it says that the flavor 
is coconut almond. I have to put this away. The smell is so strong through the packaging. It's like somebody is is just took a funnel and stuck it up my nostril and is now pouring cocoa powder into it. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that I'm not ready for it. The rest of the things in the box are just little advertisements and coupon codes for some of the brands that were in this month's Barbella box. But the thing in this box that I'm the most concerned with is this puppy right here. The thing that I love about Barbella box is that they actually do provide a list of the items in the box along with their pricing. Not only does that make my job as someone who's unboxing a lot easier to add up the prices and look at the value of everything in the box, but it also, like me as a customer, sometimes some of the things in the box, it's unclear what their purpose is or why they were chosen, and it's really nice to read these descriptions and kind of understand the thought process and how I might want to incorporate some of these things into my routine. So let's go through these items, starting with the Barbella Daily Classic Joggers. And it says that these are valued at $56. I'll be honest, I'm probably never going to spend $56 for a pair of joggers. But I do know that this is what joggers tend to go for um, on other websites for, um, for fitness apparel. And I just want to point out that going by value alone, we've already made up the cost of the box in one item. The box costs $50 and these joggers in theory cost 56. Not saying I would pay that for them, but if I were someone who would pay $56 for a pair of pants that I'm just going to wear to and from the gym. Then we made our value back. The second item was this Swell Wood Collection water bottle, which the appeal of this is that it keeps cold beverages cold and hot beverages hot. This part I didn't know. The copper wall layer creates a condensation-free exterior that won't sweat. That's good to know because sweating water bottles really annoying, gets the rest of you wet, gets your cup holder wet, leaves a ring on the table or on the, on the mat at the gym. Nobody wants that, you know? And fun fact, it holds an entire bottle of wine. Barbella Box, I appreciate you looking out for me, and I will definitely be sure to, to test that out. $45 value? I'm going to be honest with you. Cool. It keeps cold drinks cold for 24 hours. It keeps hot drinks hot for 12 hours. No condensation. Fits a whole bottle of wine. But at the end of the day, it's a water bottle. It's a pretty hot water bottle. It's a heavy water bottle. It's a water bottle that can fit my wine in it if I want to and keep it cold if that's what I want to happen. But at the end of the day, it's a $45 water bottle. $45 is definitely a price I will never pay for a water bottle. Sandbar Quickie. It's an exfoliator. Oh, this thing. It's an exfoliator for your hands and feet. So if you're someone who does a lot of barbell work or just bar, bar work in general, so like barbell with your, your deadlifts and um, maybe your power cleans, your snatches and your jerks, or maybe like pull-ups and dead hangs, like if you work with bar a lot, you'll know those, those calluses that form right here. And what's tricky about them is like, if you leave them untreated, then they can burst open and you're kind of like out of luck until they heal. 
you'll either have to wear gloves and be in pain or keep lifting and be in pain or take a break and still be in pain. And what I, when I say to anyone who's developing these calluses and starting to get those little bubbles of skin, like right in the pads of their hands is you should be exfoliating your hands regularly, you know, at least a few times a week to make sure that those don't burst open. But I guess this product is to eliminate that need and you kind of just like sand away at that skin that's kind of clumping up and callousing here. And if you do that regularly, um, you won't have to experience downtime from, um, from one of those ripping open and just ruining your day basically. Cool product. Now that I have it, I'm going to use it, but I'll be honest, it's not something that I would have normally picked up. I'd just be like, I have, ex I have hand exfoliators at home. I don't need this. But now that I have it, I'm going to use it. And apparently they're, they're saying it's a $24.99 value. I mean, it's cool. It's really cute. It has a little clippy keychain, but I'm going to keep it real with you. Something that does the same thing, same, same, but different. Sandpaper from Home Depot, and it sure doesn't cost $24.99. Next item is the Scoopy Dispenser and Funnel. Side note, funnel is spelled F-U-N-N-E-L. Not trying to throw shade. I'm just really frustrated this month, okay? Um, but that is this bad boy right here, and it is indeed an all-purpose scoop. It's an all-purpose um, supplement scoop, three-in-one scoop funnel and container for your dry powders. Cool, that's what I said. And this is a $3.99 value, and I feel like that is kind of spot on for what something like this should cost and what a consumer who's looking for an item like this would expect to pay for that. The Built Bar does not have the value listed next to it. You know what, Barbella Box? I spoke too soon. I was praising you way too early. Oh, yeah, Barbella Box. They're the only one that includes this little card that lists all the values of their items. And then you guys proceeded to not list the values of all of your items. Maybe I'm just extra irate today and every little thing is pissing me off. But like the dried fruit bars, it's basically just high, perfect, healthy, low calorie and tasty snack. Has nothing to do with fitness. But if you're hungry, here you go. I'm not going to tell you how much they're worth. Celsius on the go, powder sticks. It just says it's for healthy energy. Anytime, anywhere. That doesn't motivate me to use it. Tell me what this has to do with my fitness journey. You know, if it's not a pre-workout, then what am I using it for? It's a dietary supplement. Okay, go on. Like, I take vitamins every day. I take a multivitamin every day and calcium every day. That's a dietary supplement. What's it for? Well, it's delivering the vitamins that I might not be getting from my diet normally. So if this is something that you're expecting me to supplement my diet with, you need to tell me what is this making up for that I'm not getting? Why do I need this? That's that's what I want to know when I'm reading these things. And then finally, the Bubs Naturals single serve sample. The one item that I was like, wow, I really can't wait to read the description on this and find out like what the purpose is. I, I can't wait to read the explanation. And guess what is the only item in the box? without a little blurb written up about it. Just guess. 
so I'm going to go ahead and go off camera and look up the dollar values for the, for the items that didn't have them listed, and I will be right back with you, hopefully in a better mood. All right, real quick on the value of some of the items in the box that it wasn't specified. The Built Bars Coconut Almond Protein Bar, that's this guy. Um, it is available online. I think it only comes in packs of 18. Don't quote me on it. Um, a lot of these numbers are bleeding together. But I think it comes out to $2.10 per bar. Each of these bars, they're also available in um, a pack of some number. I don't know. It comes to $1.83 a piece. These, dude, I don't know why, don't, why they don't just say what they need to say. So according to the website, this is the same exact thing as the pre-workout, except it's not, like, pre-made into a drink. So why don't they just call it that? I don't, I don't know, man. But those, those, uh, powder sticks are also available only in packs of 14, and they are actually available on Amazon. But if you take the price and divide it by 14, each of those powder sticks comes to 86 cents, which if you compare it with a can of Celsius, if you don't mind like having to mix together your own powder into your own drink, getting those powder sticks is a much better deal than buying the cans of Celsius as long as there is an even one-to-one -one ratio. And then finally... This thing, the collagen from Bub's Naturals, um, this is a single serve sample. They do sell these um, on their website, a week supply, which is seven of them. Um, and that comes to $2 a piece. So... <sighs> When you add it all together, the value of the box is $139.46, which is way more than what I paid for the box. But here's my issue with this box. There aren't a lot of items in here that I would have normally bought for myself. Joggers are something that I need and would buy for myself, but I probably wouldn't have bought another water bottle if I didn't receive this. I don't even know if collagen is particularly beneficial to me personally, and I'm pretty sure one sample isn't going to show anything. I'm pretty sure that this is one of those things that you have to use over time to see any kind of benefit, so that doesn't really help me. Celsius, I do buy on my own, but I buy it in can form, not in powder form. I have the powders now, I'm going to use them, but realistically I wouldn't have bought those. Like, this box is full of like a couple of things that I actually use and would buy, and then a whole bunch of stuff that I probably wouldn't buy, but I'm going to use since it was included. And to me, that's not really value. Also, the fact that some of these items are outrageously priced. Like the joggers, they're cute, but I wouldn't pay 56 bucks for them. The water bottle, it's cute, but I wouldn't pay $45 for that. The sandbar quickie is cute. I didn't even know that this was something I needed. I already kind of had a solution for that issue. $24.99, like... Yeah, if you put expensive items in the box, it's going to bring up the value of the box, but does it really bring up the value for your customers? I can definitely find joggers for less than $56. I can definitely find a water bottle for less than $45. And I can definitely find some kind of hand exfoliator 
for less than $24.99. I can definitely find like snack bars and protein snacks for $2 or less. I don't know, man. So like I have this value and on paper it looks like an outrageously good value, but I was kind of a little underwhelmed by this box too. And while on paper it looks like I got more than what I paid for, realistically, how much of this would I have actually spent my money on if I was spending my money on it? And that's where each person has to decide whether these things have value to them. I'm exhausted. And moving on to the final box of the month. The other two have been a bit of a disappointment to me. So hopefully Hitbox is able to redeem this month and my day. Um, it'd be great if it would just open. That'd be ideal. So a little bit about Hitbox is that... Um, it's five to seven items, and they promise you a $100 value. Uh, it costs $49 um, if you have a monthly membership. If you have a quarterly membership, it comes out to $45 a month, and if you have a six-month membership, it comes out to $42 a month. Oh, okay. So I already like what I see. And it's something that I haven't seen in Hitbox before. So either they watched my video or they've been receiving this feedback from their other customers as well. It looks like they did indeed include a listing with all of the items included in this month's box. And, and maybe it even has their values. Thank you so much, Hitbox. I'm not going to peek at this. Um, I'm going to put it to the side until the end. I kind of want to have a fresh perspective um, looking at the items in the box. The first of which is a Cliff Bar in the flavor peanut butter banana. I I love these. I've, I've ordered these before. I have used these. Um, these have protein in them. How much? 10 grams of protein. I've definitely used this as a little, like, post-workout treat. Um, yeah, this is absolutely something that I have and will use in the future. We love Cliff Bars. Next item, Bless Up. It's an actual can of actual Celsius. Absolutely 100%. Use these. Drink one every morning. I told y'all this is in the flavor sparkling cola, which I realize is not for everyone, but I mess with it. I like this flavor. This is my go-to pre-workout. For the morning, it's my absolute favorite brand. So good. So far. So good. The next item in the box is like maybe an article of clothing. So this is from LA Society, which we've gotten LA Society articles of clothing in hit boxes in the past. So this month we have a looks like a pair of leggings and these are red and they've got some mesh and a pocket, a zipper pocket in the waistband. I absolutely love zipper pockets. Like, realistically, these pockets can't hold much. They might be able to hold, like, a key and a chapstick, which is great. But the fact that it has a zipper really makes it a useful pocket to me because if it doesn't have a zipper, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be hesitant to put things in there. Um, looks like it has a price tag on it. I don't really want to peek, but I will check the price tag on these leggings against the price tag on the little insert, um, that they gave me and see if, you know, they're trying to pull one over on me. But yeah, these leggings are very cute. I'm 
always going to appreciate getting pairs of leggings because I know that I'm going to use them. Next, we have another article of clothing, and it looks like this one is also from L.A. Society. I can't tell what it is right off the bat, but I did see the price tag because it was facing outward. And it's not a cheap item. So, interested to see what we've got here. It's a hoodie. This hoodie is extremely soft. Wow, okay. Yeah, it's it's really soft. Like, I can't even explain what it feels like. It's just, it's really soft. <laughs> really original, Melissa. Really original. You have so many synonyms for the word soft in your arsenal. Um, so we just have a nice black long sleeve hoodie with a pocket in the front. This is more like a like a warm up clothes or like wear to and from the gym to stay warm kind of thing. And then the last item in the box. Ooh. I'm never going to be mad at getting socks. This is just an in general kind of thing. Like if you're ever looking to give me a gift, I'm not going to be mad at socks. If you're ever looking for an item to put in a race swag bag, I'm, I'm not going to be mad at socks. If you're putting together a subscription box, I'm not going to be mad at socks. I will always have a use for socks. And if there are socks intended for an athlete, if there are socks intended for a runner, well, that's even better. This is from the company Vital Socks. Feetness first. <laughs> That's cute. Feetness. So it says that these are lightweight running socks. All right. Tell me the appeal. Yada yada arch support. Yada yada ankle brace. Yada yada ventilation. They got all the buzzwords. Okay, so they are they promised five to seven items in this box, and I do count five items, so they've held up the end of their bargain there. Let's read through the enclosed sheet and see what they've got to say about the items in this box. So the first item that they say here is the L.A. Society top. L.A. Society is inspired by the lifestyles of women, life, by the lifestyles of women lead today. We understand life can be crazy and spontaneous, so we are determined to deliver athleisure that blurs the lines between work, gym, and play. Made from high-quality fabrics, our clothing is built to sustain and provide comfort no matter where your day might take you. Value, 60 plus dollars. And this is the one that I accidentally saw the price tag to. And it said $79.99. I'll be honest with you, LA Society is a brand that I had never heard of before I subscribe to Hitbox. It's not like a known luxury athletic brand like Lululemon. So I don't know how they're charging people $80 for a black hoodie and it's cute and it's soft, but it's not $80 soft. I would never ever pay $80 for a black hoodie. Next item is the LA Society leggings. 
crafted by experts and designed by people like you. Our packaging is 100% compostable. Okay, but it does say that this value is 50 plus dollars. And according to the price tag, that's on the leggings themselves. These leggings are $59, which to me is a lot for leggings, but more or less what athletic leggings go for. I'll be honest. It's not what I personally would pay for leggings. Even if this is the retail price, I'm never buy I'm never paying full price for these leggings. It's not what I would pay, but I do acknowledge that this is what leggings go for. I mean, after all, it's not like an $80 hoodie or something. The next item is vital socks. They're athletic socks. They're dry wicking and supposed and supposed to support your feet. Cool. Value $15. However, on the package itself, it says, what, what, what's that number? This is the stuff I don't like. You better make sure that if you're saying it's worth $15, Take off the price tag, fam. I know it's only a dollar difference, but like, we like the prices on our price tags to match the price on the sheet. Like, if this was in the store and this package itself says $14 and the price tag on the shelf says $15, Guess which price I'm actually going to be paying. But with that aside, like, real talk, I just realized $14 is a whole lot of money for a pair of socks. It's not like a three-pack or something. It's $14 for one pair of socks. I mean, yeah, I want my feet dry and my ankles supported, but for $14... You'd better also be able to help me run a four-minute mile. Celsius Live Fit, which is a pre-workout drink. I'm already familiar with it. It says the value is $2. I don't feel the need to look it up. I, I'm pretty sure that that's what these cost. And then the last uh, item is a Cliff Bar, which it does say... That this value is also two dollars. I'm gonna pronounce it active until somebody corrects me. It's spelled A A P T I V E, and basically it's um it's like personalized fitness programs with like with plans like nutrition plans and training plans and stuff like that and you get a 30-day membership with this box which is rad because february has 29 days so like okay cool beans but basically if you all if you get this comes with every single hit box so if you have a hit box membership you also have an active membership but i like that they finally printed the value on it and they're saying that it's a $15 value for the month. Now, it's not something that I personally will use because I do make up my own training plans, but now it's something that I can incorporate into the value of the box because uh, they have been the ones to put a dollar value to it. So let me real quick add up the value of this box, and I'll be right back. So the total value for this month's hitbox is $171.99, which is great because they only promised us a $100 value, so they went above and beyond what they promised. Realistically, though, these are not prices that I would personally pay for these items. Um... 
I wouldn't be paying $80 for a hoodie. I wouldn't be paying almost $60 for leggings. And I wouldn't be paying $14 for a pair of socks. But realistically, if I was paying for a hoodie and leggings and socks and a Celsius and a Cliff Bar, I would be paying more than $49. So to me, this box is worth it. Um, plus, they have that 30-day membership to the app that you can use for training programs and and plans and like and all of that. And if you're someone that's going to use that, then this is going to add value to the box for you. This is not something that I'm going to use at this point. Um, and who knows? Maybe it's something that's that I'll take advantage of later. It's one of those funky things because with the rest of the items in the box, I receive it and it's kind of like, oh, I would have never thought to buy this, but because in the box I'll use it, and this is one item that I'm not going to have a use for. Like, I'm not going to be able to make use of it, even though it did come in the box, even though it's supposed to be part of that value that I'm paying for. But fortunately, even without the $15 valued active membership, my box is still worth over $150, which is way more than what I paid for it. So now it's time to talk about the winners of the individual battle of the box categories and also reveal who I thought the best box was this month. So the first category is best value. And because we have three boxes that are three different prices, instead of comparing them in dollar value to each other, I'm comparing them to themselves by percentage wise, comparing what the actual value of the box was divided by what I paid uh, or what the retail value of the box is for a monthly membership. Um, what percentage? So for Miss Muscle Box, it was 158%, but take that with a grain of salt because it's less than the dollar amount that they promised. With Barbella Box, it was 279%, which is a fantastic value for a box, but not necessarily something that I agreed with as being as having value for me personally. And the winner this month, 351% value. I paid 40, the monthly cost of this box is $49 a month and it was more than triple that. That's an outstanding value of the box for the hit box. The second category is my favorite item overall. That's just my favorite single item among all three boxes. And that's usually a really tough item to pick because these are all different. We're comparing clothing to snacks to accessories and whatnot. Um, I think my favorite item for the whole month is this pair of joggers from the Barbella box just because joggers are something that I'm currently in need of and I'm a huge fan of the zipper pockets because pockets are not something that you'll find in women's clothing often. The third category for Battle of the Boxes is favorite apparel item. Now, since my favorite item overall was an apparel item, I'm going to choose my second favorite overall apparel item to take that category. And I'm going to go ahead and say that that item is these LA Society leggings um, from the Hitbox. I do have a great use for leggings. And I love that they're just this bright, pretty color with the, the little mesh. It's cute. And I will definitely get use out of them. My favorite 
edible item is probably from the Miss Muscle box. This brownie. Um, I'm pretty excited about eating this brownie because, hi, it's a brownie that has a bunch of protein. Like, that just sounds delicious to me. I'm really excited about it, and going by how much it goes for, it's not something that I'd ever be able to purchase on my own. Favorite piece of gear or equipment? We didn't really get a lot. A, a couple of items and not each box had a piece of gear or equipment. But overall, I think the most unique and interesting item is this Swell water bottle um, in the Barbella box. It's just, it's so unique. It's a teal wood design and it's making some pretty bold claims and if it's able to hold up to the claims this will be a pretty valuable water bottle to have in my collection and besides that I'm pretty sure it's the most expensive water bottle I've ever owned. <laughs> Favorite self-care item? I don't feel like there were any self-care items this month. So I'm going to go ahead and say that there weren't any applicable items in this category this month and kind of just bypass that one this time around. And my favorite box overall, it's the only box that I didn't go on an extended heated rant for, and that's this month's hit box. I liked all five items. I thought all five items had value to me personally. And yeah, the sixth item is the membership that I don't intend on using. But if we're just talking about the five tangible items in this box, I love everything that came in the box. I'll use everything in the box. And I felt like the box as a whole was worth the value. So it should be absolutely no surprise to you at all that um, the winner of the February 2020 Battle of the Boxes is the Hit Box. I liked every single item in it and it had the best value overall. Gave me two pieces of new workout clothing that was way more money than I would spend for either one of those items, and I got them for, like, way less than their suggested retail value. It's stuff I'm definitely going to use. Loved this month's box. So, yeah, thank you for hanging out with me today with this unboxing. I know it was a little bit more ranty and frustrated than usual, so I am sorry for that. Hopefully, um, things will go a little bit more smoothly next month, and hopefully I'll have a little bit of a bit different backdrop as I'll already be moved into um, my new house. This video going up late hasn't affected my normal flow of things, so you can still expect a new video on the first Wednesday of the month. I'm really excited about the video that I'm putting together for this month. I hope you guys really enjoy it. And if you would like to join the free March core challenge, it's not too late to do that. So I will just have the link to sign up for that challenge in the description box below, along with links to all three of these fitness box companies if you're interested in checking them out. Some of them are referral links, but none of them are affiliate codes. I just wanted to notify you of that. Please go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already done so, I do Battle of the Boxes on the second to last day of the month, as long as everybody sends me my box on time. And I also post new fitness, nutrition, and health content on the first Wednesday of every month. 
have an awesome day, guys. <laughs> See you next time.